Alright. Strider Supers. Uniquely, Strider is the only character in the game with one level 1 and two level 3s. Here is his level 1, which I like to nickname the worst level 1 in the game. This thing does have its perks, yes, but this thing is not all that great. Legion is by far really, really terrible. You see that? It did 200k the first two times, and this third time it did 215k. Now watch what it does now. Oh, 200 again. One more time. 229k. Sometimes it does 170k, and that really bothers me. This is the most random level 1 ever, but that's not even the worst part of it. This move can actually OTG. Oh wow, I did 167. Oh wait, yeah, I didn't match that time. <laughs> Never mind. Alright, this move can actually OTG. But here's the thing. The Tigers on the bottom is what level 3's... Uh, not level 3's, is what um, OTG's the opponent. But this move is so random. Sometimes the Tigers lag behind while the birds are in the front. Which the birds don't OTG. They don't even hit the ground. And I find that really, really, really stupid. So, you can't even do a simple combo like that. Sometimes. Does it work? Work. Huh. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm delaying it. <laughs> I'm used to it. Yeah, you, I usually delay my attack in the air. That way I fall to the ground sooner than to actually get it to work. If I don't... See? That's bullcrap. You actually have to delay that. And I don't like that idea. I mean, it's kind of stupid. The other thing about this super... It is extremely weak. Not in damage output. Well, its damage output is sucky, but... Its durability is terrible. Strider is not safe when he does this. He does leap back. Yes, he does leap back. He does send a flock of animals ahead of him. But against someone who can teleport, you know, it means nothing. Against Akuma, whoops. Hold up. Against Akuma, who can do Beam Hyper, it means nothing. I don't even think Akuma has to be Beam. Nope. But, you know, Akuma can super jump and wrong button. If he had a Wolverine angle, I so think that would have hit. Almost. Point is, it's really, really bad. Another, th I think that's about it actually. Huh. Wonder if you can. Okay, hitting it with the projectile does less than a lot of hits, which I would think. I don't play a sentinel. Okay, it's full circle back. Alright. See that? Yeah. Only six hits though. So yeah, with certain projectiles, maybe like Plasma Beam, you can just blow it out the way. And I don't think that's really cool. No, I don't think that's cool at all. That really sucks. Worst level one ever. I would rather, if you're ever going to use the Legion, you know, use it when you're actually going to get the kill after a Shira combo. Okay, I mean, if that would kill, yeah, I would so do that. Okay? 
if you know if you DHC like that. Now, see, that's a good use for it. But other than that, move kind of sucks. If you can DHC into it. I mean, you can DHC after it with like into like someone like Dante or Virgil who can combo after Legion. Then yeah, it's worth it because more than likely you'll probably get the kill. Now, there's others. There's other supers who are his level threes. One is Ouroboros. Everyone loves this move. Wave dashing with it, teleporting with it. That wasn't teleport. There we go. Oops. Wave dashing, teleporting, wall clinging. Actually, I really love wall clinging like this move. I never seen anyone do this. Watch this. Whoops. I fell. There we go. That is really cool and fun. And a little difficult to block. I mean, it's not effective, but it doesn't really combo. And you can't really confirm off of it, but hey, it's cool. <laughs> That's all I care about. It's cool. Okay, here's the thing with Aura Portals. It's kind of like Virgil Spiral Swords. It kind of knocks the opponent down. It can't really do much, especially if you just wage dash into it. Problem with it. Without X Factor, it's kind of easy to deal with. You can actually see Strider move, okay? He can teleport you, but you know, the most. You can pretty much. advancing guard him. And what can he do? You see that? I mean, whoa. He can wall claim. Because wall claim actually ignores advancing guard, but that's about it. Okay, he can teleport if he counts his teleports correctly. If he don't, you know, teleport, see? I always just like, yeah, it means nothing. With X Factor level 3, though, it's a different story. It's really godlike. It's, because Strider becomes so, I mean, look, he's already fast. With level 3 X Factor makes him super fast. <laughs> Making his teleports quick enough to actually avoid the effects of advancing guard. Or lessen the effects anyway. It's locked down. It's level three. It allows you to um, it allows you to master a neutral game with Strider. It allows you to take complete and utter control of the screen, with your opponent not being able to do much. If they jump, you wave dash under them, and they will never be able to block all that. Another level three, Ragnarok. This acts like X23 is level one. Where it's completely invincible, it goes through everything. But like how Ouroboros is a sh is a level three version of Skirt Virgil's Spiral Swords, but yet it gets beat out by Strider so on Spiral Swords. Strider's Ragnarok gets beat out by X23's whatever her super is called. It's ridiculous. It's funny. Strider has level three versions of other characters of level level ones, but yet their level ones beats out Striders. I don't think that's f very fair at all, actually. I think that's... I hate that. <laughs> A lot. I really do. So. That was, wait, what's this one? This was supers. Okay. So... Your main use for Ouroboros is for X-Factor only. You can use it without X-Factor, you know, if you don't want to use your X-Factor and you want to just finish your opponent off really quickly without, you know, um, without wasting your X-Factor and or, like, risking putting yourself in danger. The Strider is low health, you know, he can die in one pound though. Your, your opponent's low on health, you want to get them out of the way really quickly, there's Ouroboros. You can wave dash them, they can advance guard you, you know, it doesn't matter, you'll chip them out eventually. Pretty sure you could. How much chip that will it do? I 
I should put this on normal. It's not going much too. Okay, I see. Yeah. You're gonna have to teleport and wall playing with it. That's why you're gonna chew. Wow, I did quite a bit of shit. Okie dokie. Now, if you wanna use Ragnarok, Ragnarok is for when your opponent does something like that. And you just run right through it. Ah, you can actually combo off his red rock, but only with the, uh, slide. Oh, okay. uh, The timing's a little strict, though. It's kind of like the timing you combo off of Dante's level 3. And you gotta run, you gotta dash first. Ah, it's a little difficult. I mean, you would use the, um, Formation B. But it actually goes away after the Ragnarok for whatever reason. See? I had to resummon it. Alright, I think that covers it for supers. I mentioned how stupid Legion is, but I did go over some uses for it. Like. DHC into something like that. Well, you can protect your character while you come in for a DHC. Uh, I mentioned it's faults, like it can get beat up by other projectiles, supers, sometimes even projectiles. Very with projectiles. Um, people can super jump over it. Or boss is not that great without X Factor. It's still pretty good, but. Uh, Riding Rock is completely invincible, but not as good as X-23s. Yeah, that's pretty much it. Okay, that's supers. Uh, next section, or next video, we'll be going over... Movement. Getting around the stage and into your opponent or away from your opponent. Alright.